in the previous video we learned you know how to select any element of an html using javascript using dom which is document object model okay now in this uh, lesson we are going to learn how we can manipulate the elements that we have selected so this is what we call dom manipulation okay uh, let me just open it okay so i'll just go to more tools i'll open my developer tools and here i am let me just reload it and okay great now i have like given a few examples in the previous videos so if i talk about them so like uh you know we were able to change the css style in then dynamically using javascript by you know tapping into the element and then changing it using dot style okay so what you can do you can simply type document dot let's say query selector dot uh, first you have to query select any which is let's say h1 right you are going to have let's say style and uh, then we are going to have color let's say red so what it does it taps into the element h1 which is this element then it goes into its style and the style we change its color to Right. Okay. Now every single CSS property can be changed in this way using JavaScript. Okay. You know, but the property names might be a bit different. As you said earlier on, JavaScript, uh, uh, like JavaScript naming conventions tend to be camel cased. So what camel case means that if there is like two word word, I mean query and selector. So the first letter has to be small case and the second letter would be um, uppercase okay now if you remember there was something called uh, um, what it was like okay font size so how font size was written font size was written like font dash size as the property name in CSS right but in JavaScript we use it like let me just say document dot query selector let's say h1 dot style dot font size that is how you write let's say uh, any big value let's say an aria okay it is very big but okay you understand what i'm talking about okay now to have all the list of you know for i mean css styles which you can tap into and you can change you can go to uh, w3 schools dom object okay i if i remember it was this okay okay great and here you can see all, all the object properties and methods you can change okay uh, great um, give me one minute let me check okay this is the dom style object here you can you know change everything great now uh, let me just refresh it and let me open the uh, developer tools once uh, again so here uh, there is a task for you you have to change the color of this click me button background color to yellow so for that you need to go to dom style object i mean this web page 
here you can find the uh, property name which is you can check background color it you know sets or returns the background color of an element so what you will do you will say document dot query selector what is it uh, it's a button uh, right or you can just do dot btn uh dot btn and uh, this style dot bag crown color to let's say yellow okay this is done you can see it looks nice right okay great let me just refresh it it. now this was one way of you know manipulating the styling of any element in our web page now the other thing which we would be talking about is how to change the content of an element so you know how we used to change the content it was like document dot query selector dot uh, let's say h1 dot in a html is equal to let's say bye great now there is another way to do it which is uh text content it is like document dot you know we'll say query selector you'll say h1 dot you will say text content let's say we'll just again say it hello okay now these two seems similar but there is a very big difference i would say which is suppose i put something wrong and here again i just put strong works right great now if i go and write document dot query selector and if i say h1 if i say in our html c it is giving me the tag name as well which is hello world plus strong so it is basically giving me all the inner html of this tag which is this whole thing whereas if i do this part control c control v dot uh, let's say text content to just send tell me this part okay that is a very big difference so using this inner html you can change the html of it as well how let me show it i'll just copy it and i'll just paste it and i'll say uh let's say em and let's say hello only see you can change the uh html properties of it as well okay so that is another big uh plus point of an html great so now that we have seen how you can manipulate the style and the text of an html element the last thing that is left is to how to change the attribute of an html element okay so what are attributes attributes are basically all this um orange thing you are seeing like href is an attribute okay this item is an attribute this checkbox is an attribute okay it now how you can you know tap into any elements attribute let's see that i'll just say query selector and here i'll say a and here i'll try to find the attributes of it which is you know it only has one attribute so length is one which is href href you can open it 
and here you can find everything like there's a lot of details which you don't want to get into now if you want to get a like a specific attribute you can say get attribute and here you can mention it like what i want i want href okay this is the one now suppose i thought of something very evil and i go and write bing.com so what i want i want to if i click on this i should not go to google.com but i should go to bing.com so for that what i'll do i'll simply type document dot query selector i'll say a i'll say uh earlier we used get attribute now we are going to use set attribute it is going to take two parameters one is the attribute you want to change that is href and the one you want to change it with which is our bing uh, i'll just copy it and i'll just paste it okay and if i do it done now if i click on google see it would take me to bing so great okay i think you understood what is you know uh, how to you know do the manipulation so this all manipulation is called dom manipulation document object model manipulation now using this you can do a lot of things a uh, lot 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 of things javascript okay so i guess that was all for this video thank you for watching and yeah see you later